Hey everybody, it's Mark Ruggiero here, Clark Commando 1983, and boy do I got what I think is going to be a real treat for some of us, a trip down memory lane on a game that I've never played. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, uh, well, let me say this, really important for me, if you like this content, please like. Please subscribe to my channel. Please comment. It's all really helpful. Um, I'm just real excited to be able to do this. Been having a lot of challenges, you know, if you're following me along with my cancer. But tonight, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Trip down memory lanes aren't all that different for me and this is the old uh, Avalon Hill I did no prep work for this video whatsoever so it's okay but as you know I've been going through my collection and and uh, my god some of the stuff I have is just it's crazy so um Anyway, so this came out in 1983. I can see the little date right here. And so you could kind of call this an unboxing, but it's also a trip down memory lane because it's such an old game, and I never played it. I played uh, a lot of Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 1st Edition up until I went into the military, and along with wargaming, and I had to kind of make a decision in my life, do I want to do RPGs or do I want to do role-playing? Well, I've bought a lot of RPGs over the years, and but I picked wargaming, and, which I'm glad I did, And but role-playing will always have a special place in my heart. And if I'm lucky, next week, I'm going to be running a... Uh, fifth edition, fifth, the newer edition of Dungeons and Dragons for my boys. So I'm kind of excited about that. It's gonna be my first try in, no, oh, let's see, 40, 40 freaking years plus. But, anyways, let's look at the back. So, Avon Hill did Powers and Perils. Uh oh, that could be another video coming down the line. Um, but it says, Lords of the Creation, the ultimate role-playing game, a game of science, fantasy, science fiction, and high adventure that explores the farthest reaches of your imagination. Splendid adventures take place throughout time, space, and other dimensions. It's been designed for both experienced role-playing gamers, I'm just reading the back, and beginning... Uh, and beginners, Lords of Creation allows unlimited voyages via your imagination through time and beyond worldly dimensions. Journey in the magical realms, ruled by, ruled by swords and sorcery, battle bizarre aliens and killer robots on mysterious planets. Uh, mystery, horror, and there's it goes on and on. The combat system includes 53 different types of weapons ranging from swords and spears to proton beams and blasters. More than 450 foes uh, to challenge the most daring and role-playing players. 100 different non-combat skills and 53 combat skills. Characters can learn as they gain experience. And 60 different powers that characters can slowly gain. So let's see. Now, I know that this has some extra stuff in it because I cheated and peaked earlier. And by the way, I'm only a few minutes in, so hopefully you're still watching. But if you actually played this, I would love to hear in the comments and the videos what, you know, your experience was. Um, so let's see. we got the, looks like the core rule book. I wonder if it says anywhere who the designer was. Got an index. Boy, couldn't a lot of modern games use that? I mean, I know some have indexes and stuff. Some don't. Let's see here. Designed by Tom Moldave. Mold. Sorry, Tom Moldave. 
uh, he developed it. And then editing by George Wilson, art by Dave Billman, maps, Bob Haynes, and graphics, Gene Barr. Uh, let's see here. Who play tested this? Mark Akers, Chuck Balters, uh, Brett Brockham, Charles Britton, Elmer Britton, and Dave Bull Bull Bullis. Okay. Uh, and a whole bunch of other people over here that I'm, I'm not going to go through. Um, so, let's see. Oh, I don't recognize any of the names. But, anyways, let's just look here. The Kingdom of Nubia. What's in the front of the rule book? Let's look. Let's see. So, how many pages is this? Uh, looks like 61 pages. But it looks like we got uh, different uh, settings here. Paris in the swashbuckling era. So there's some historical stuff here. Let's see. Maybe that's what this is. In. I thought it was different worlds. No, nope. the kingdom of Seabro. So that looks like, yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of, of course, that's our earth. Looks like just a bunch of cool earthly stuff. Uh, let's see here. The land of Uro. Okay. Let's see what the introduction says. I'm not going to go through this. Part two, creating characters. I'm going to have to actually read this. Because, like, I've had this for, like, a million years. And I've, like, never even read it. So, terrible, I know. Um, I mean, I may have read it way, way back. I just don't remember. Uh, let's see. So I don't want to read that. It's boring. What is a role-playing game? Uh, does it need a board? I think we all know what a role-playing game is. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Uh, scenarios, encounters. Okay doesn't have the what do you need part. I don't see that. Um, cool. Well, anyways, that's the rule book. Maybe not as exciting as I thought this would be. Let's see what's in the book of foes. Look at the condition of this. All the years we've had this, it's still really amazing. Oh, and I've got adventures in there too. Awesome. So, anyways, all right. The back of this, by the way, says April 1984. So, the box said 83, but I'm sure this has all kinds of cool creatures. I've got to, it would be interesting to read this and see how much it um, copies, hit, uh, or takes from D&D. &D. Let's look up orcs. Orcs are pretty common monster. Where are they at? Olympus. The gods of Olympus. Awesome. All right. Pegasus. Okay, where's orcs? Come on. It's got to be orcs. No? Maybe it was a copyright thing. 45. No. It goes the uh, Palambron. Pegasus. All right. You can see that. And over here, oh, there you go, orcs. Okay, right there. Whoop. There we go. Experience two, numbers three to 18. Let's see, orcs are humanoids who were originally magically created from animals and still retain some animal physical traits. Rat killer is mean and surly. He is a natural bully. He has the powers... Physical control and dermal armor. Osiris. Uh, so I see. Okay. Anyways, it must be like a me. Oh, I see. Rat killer, leader, soldier, and then average. Let's leave that there so you can look. So anyways, this is the Book of Beasts. Looks like it's full of all kinds of really cool opponents and different things. 
that you can use. Got uh, Cyborgs, uh, Coyote the Trickster. Looks pretty imaginative. I kind of like the art too. Snakes, right? Awesome. All right. So let's see. That's the uh, rule book and the beast. Let's see here. All dice. No, required for the game. Well, I got a million dice. There's no dice in here. Let's see what I do have in here. Let's look. All right. It came with... Oh, this is kind of cool. No fancy artwork. But you have a, a screen. So experience table... Modern equipment list, ranged weapon chart, close combat weapon chart, Lord of Creation Game Master screen. Any item on the equipment, modern equipment list can be upgraded as futuristic at twice the normal cost and credits. And it's got a list of futuristic equipment and antique. And then multiple attack table. Whatever that would mean. I guess I'd have to read the rules. Armor table. Reaction. So it looks like a screen, but you got all kinds of tables on both sides. I'm not quite sure how to use that. Then, yellowed with age. I got a cool character sheet. Basic abilities. Mods. Player, character, character skills, character powers. Uh, it's got just all uh, experience points, armor, title, physical. Looks like you have muscle, speed, stamina, mental, and luck. And then a the total for your ability scores, weapons. What's on the back, I wonder? I don't want to tear room these off. Pad stone pack. And it's just a copy of what you exactly like that. So there's a, a ton of records here. Wow, pretty pretty imaginative here. A short history of Akron by Tom Moldot Moldvay. Uh It looks like it looks like it's actually a small oh Akron. Akron, Ohio, duh. A short history of Akron, Ohio. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else in here I got. Let's go with the adventure. Oh, wow, this is kind of cool, actually. I'm going to show you this. This is really neat, actually, I think. I'm assuming it goes with this. I haven't read it, but... This has an extra, The Horn of Rowan, which is an adventure. I'm not going to read into it, but what was, I thought really cool, and I'm assuming I'm going to put it back. I'm assuming it goes with that adventure. You kind of, I guess, in today's parlance, you'd call these handouts. Tom Morgan's list of suspects. Oh, yep, says right here, Horn of Roland module. Uh, the New Bristol Times. So these are evidently handouts. What else is in here? Let's see. Sorry. It's got a map of New Bristol, Massachusetts. Doesn't have a year, but that's probably in the adventure. This actually looks really cool, you know, doesn't it? I know we're 50 minutes in. I'm spending way too much time on this, but uh, maybe a crime scene or something. I don't know. Not sure. But hey, it is really cool. 
that goes with the horn and walls. I'm going to put that right back inside. I can't believe I have all this stuff. It's just crazy. And, uh, wow, I'm not going to go through it, but, uh, oh, well, maybe, oh, wow, that's separate. Okay. So it looks like, uh, no, I was mistaken. I thought, you know, let me look. Oh, wow, this even has a little insert, too. Omega Cron. And this has an insert also, not as extensive as the Horner Roland. And then, I have no idea what it is, but the Yeti Sanction. Look at that. Isn't that, man, that is really cool. I like the artwork, actually. Um, and this also has, it uh, looks like two inserts, maybe three. Okay, it actually has a map of the District of Columbia inside. So Avalon Hill stuck to their thing, but here's a map. I don't know, does it say what it is? Uh, it doesn't say. Map of, oh, Everest. Okay. So I'm going to assume that this ice wall and Everest, maybe that's all real uh, from a real map. I don't know. But hey, thanks for joining me in this video. I took about 16 minutes of your valuable time. Now, actually a little more because I'm not done yet, but I will be. And I hope you enjoy this. I just, you know, I honestly really love just pulling out some of my old games. I'm going to actually have to at least spend a little bit of time reading through this or some of it. Oh, I'm sure, I don't know, I'm sure I'll never play it, but who knows. Like I said, if you've played this, it'd be wonderful to hear your stories and your mm -hmm. what your experience was with it. It looks really cool. If you are interested, I know you can still pick this up on the secondary market pretty cheap. So I don't know about with all the extra adventures and stuff, but anyways, thanks for joining me. Just hey, have a wonderful evening. Thanks.